Well, according to more Final Fantasy XIII, everyone's still left, and we, well, witness a very emotional cutscene. An amazing cutscene, this time more. Why did I even try to run? What was waiting wasn't something I could change. You are cold-blooded. <gasps> Lying so people would trust you. Using them as shields. How many you gotta drag down with you? I'm... A coward and a killer. The people you use don't get to live. Why should you? Tired of living with guilt? Then die with it. Grand Pulse, and to everyone on Cocoon, evil. Shoot me for your son. Don't you even! You think you die, and that's that? Hmm? You think you die, and everything will be sugar and rainbows? Then what can I do? What do you want from me? If I can't live or die, what do you want me to do? Don't ask me. You figure it out. I don't know! <laughs> Neither do I. It's over. There's nothing to do. Shooting you won't help. Neither will living. Welcome to the third Eidolon battle of the game, Brynhildr, Savage Eidolon. So again, Eidolons appear in situations when they are basically the summoner, summoner meaning the Lassie, like their own, you know, summoner. When the Lassie is in a time of crisis, a time of need, when they have given up, and they come to aid them. So it's beneficial in the beginning just to be doing this. Use Fae, uh, Vigilance is helped as well, but let's now switch to a uh, Matic Synergist. He's under debuff, so that's fine, but I need to cast Vigilance. Vigilance and Haste are important, and uh, I guess healing also helps, obviously. What I'm gonna do is use the potion, because I think I have a Doctor's Code, so that helps a lot. So, his bar fills up by applying buffs to allies. The more buffs you do, heals to those who amass. Okay, also Ravage Ravage works, so it does. Okay, just keep buffing up, keep buffing up. And then let's finally switch to Ravager Ravager. To amass chain bonuses, and the slash would help a lot, and build the bar quite fast. Just be careful about this because the attacks are a little bit brutal, as you can kind of see. Uh, I guess we could just kind of offset it easily by using potions, and stick with Ravager Ravager. 
because you want to amass those chain bonuses. Overall, the battle isn't too difficult compared to um, uh, Odin. It's a lot easier, actually, but even with that, it can still be a little bit problematic sometimes. It's best just using potions and not wasting time switching back to medic. Just keep using dual casting. And that'll build up the bar quite fast. Look at that, we're still at 900 time, and his bar is already over half. Actually, like, about two-thirds of the way there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is go a potion right after this. Like I said, Vigilance helps, because it helps to not be uh, stunned by his attacks, sometimes. Ouch. A little bit crazy there. Just keep amassing the chain bonuses. And this should be it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Square for Gestalt mode, and there we go. So Brynhildr, he's not a summon that actually occurs a lot throughout Final Fantasy, at least I don't think so. He might have appeared in one other game, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, his just almost switches into a car, a race car. Like Odin is a horse, uh, Shiva's like a motorcycle, and this one is a car with Brynhildr. Alright, there we go. Target time 31 minutes, my god. What? It doesn't make any sense to me sometimes, but okay. Brynhildr Idola. Saz gain an ATB gauge segment. Very nice. like his. You don't forget. Enough. Is enough. Careful with those. For every task, there's a perfect tool. All of Cocoon was against us. With us dead, they were sure everything would go back. Back to the way it was before. face 
official sentencing upon the convoy's arrival in the capital. So what's with the freak show? So the Primarch can stand in judgment of the villainous Lassie. With their execution as the climax, the people will cheer their demise, and Falci Dominion will be undisputed. All part of the plan? Yes, but it also presents an opportunity. In a display of unwavering dedication to duty, the Primarch himself has boarded the Palamecia and focused his personal attention on resolving the Pulse Crisis. They're baiting us, trying to draw us out. Bait, huh? Yeah, that's right. Here are your friends. Come and get them. Well, if they're daring us to mount a rescue, I'll take that action. All in. Alrighty, bets are on the table. We leave when you're ready. I'll be standing by. Another trophy. Instrument of, I didn't actually see what the hell it said. Oh my god. Um, but now in here there's actually nothing except moving forward, really. If I'm just to do, there's a save point. Is there anything back here? No, there's no items here. I don't think there is. So I'm just gonna, you know, move on along. Yeah, I should just be doing that, right? I think so. Hello, Fang. How are you doing? Come on, let's get this show on. Okay, okay. Yes, I know. I'm going. I'm gonna talk to you. Once we take off. Yes. This baby back here is a Psycom vessel. It'll deliver you to the Palamecia. Oh, we're cargo now? A parting gift to our rotting government. Take those Psycom guys apart. And we're supposed to take on all of them? I think the whole division's on board. I don't care how many lackeys they've got, bring them on. Vanille's in there. I'm sure she's fine. Vanille's tougher than I could ever be. Hope, are you scared? <laughs> yeah, I'm terrified. But I'll be okay. Because I have you, and this guy, and Fang. We're all in this mess. We gotta stick together. <laughs> right, enough with the bonding. It's go time. Oh. What do you mean, this guy? I didn't expect to see you here in person, your eminence. This crisis threatens the entirety of Cocoon, my child. You agree that standing at the fore is a leader's charge? Wholeheartedly. It also affords a splendid view of the impending execution. <laughs> What's the hold up? Stand by. Verifying identification code. You let me land this bird or I'll crash her into your ass. <sighs> code verified. You're free to dock. About damn time.
Repeat, code red. Attention all crew, this is not a drill, code red. All right, let's tear them up. We're here for Vanille and Saz. Stay focused. Okay, so... As you can see, we are controlling Lightning as the leader. And, um... It is kind of going to suck because being a stale, as you already know, that's the main commando, the biggest damage dealer, so it makes more sense to be using it. What the hell? I'm in Delta Tech. I'm like, what the hell's happening? I've been in Delta Tech the whole time. Jeez. I'm the freaking commando, man. Seriously. There we go. See? Things become much smoother. Okay, but as I was saying, in this entire chapter, there's going to be Ravager as... You know, the party leader, which, I mean, I keep saying it's it's pretty bad usually compared to a commando, having a Ravager. But at the same time, it's also not terrible. Damn it, I heard him so messed up. Okay, launch him. There we go. Yeah. Reduce his damage a lot. Mana Drive Kira? No, don't do that. You're gonna heal him. Oh. Okay. Don't let the bar go down. Don't let the bar go down. Got him, Ravager. Good job, Ravager. <laughs> okay, so that's one battle down. Got some CP. But I have to actually develop my characters. As you can see, pretty much anyone here drops incentive chips. Looks like they want to play. No kidding. So where to? <laughs> right up there. Inviting you. Okay, so I have a lot of CP for these characters, so let's go ahead and develop them. It's going to be mainly these, these three because Snow is not even going to be utilized in here, so whatever. Like I said, the game limits you in switching characters. I think you can start switching characters in the next chapter, if I'm correct, chapter 10, possibly. So let's see. As far as Lightning goes, I want to develop her, uh, let's see what she's got, because I already went up, okay, to the 1000s. What about her medic? What can we do with her medic? Whoops, that's a 1000. My bad. Actually, what can she learn? She can learn Raise, which might not be a bad idea. She also kind of needs to know Renew. That'll actually be pretty helpful. But before that, let's go ahead and take a look at her, uh... What was next? Commando? That reached 2. Okay, so everybody's... Yeah, everything already reached. Blindside. Um, the thing is, she's not going to be a Commando all that much compared to Fang. There's Scourge. They're both good, but I'm going to hold off on that and go into Medic. There's a good reason why. I want to teach her the Renew. Perfect, actually. There we go. That's a technique. Might be pretty useful sometimes. I believe it costs 2 TP to do that. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, that's Raise. That's right. I'll probably go have to Raise them. I don't know. I mean, one more thing that's important is actually the Ravager, the next roll bonus, which... I think it's right... Yeah, it's right there. I can do Arrow. And then... Watera. And then that. So, we'll see. Next up is Hope. Alright, so for Hope, uh, it's best to try and get... Um, I would say... As a medic... She... Uh, he, she really, she... He needs to get... What's important, actually? Anything here? Renew? No... That's not important. Nothing here is important, really. Let's go to Synergist, then. Because for Synergist, I was... I need Veil. Raise target status on the resistance. Okay, that's pretty useful. Let's go ahead and do that. You can also learn Boon. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's like what uh, Saz has got. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay, and then before I keep going with that, I'm going to get a... Uh, go to Ravager to see if... There's Blazara. Overwhelm. He doesn't have that yet. Boost chain bonus effective attacks for each ally target. Yeah, I need that, actually. That's, that's my next priority there. Let's go for that. So there's Blazara. And then Strain, so I just need... Hmm, decent amount still. Damn it. Yeah, I, I need that for sure. My god. I mean... If a Ravager does not have that ability, then it's actually kind of like... They're kind of a shit Ravager, I'm just telling you that right now. They need that ability really badly. 1200, okay. The thing is, I'm gonna develop you though in that. 
It makes sense to do that. Steel guard? Well, she has many guard already. Which is generally better. Renew. Hmm, I don't need that. She's not the party leader right now anyway, so who cares? Dispel? Curse? Curse guy, I mean, there's a lot of really good stuff that I can be learning, but as of now, the priority is the commando. She's gonna be our main commando. Life saving, recharge when to be gauge upon slaying a target. And then she can learn both Ravage and Scourge. Scourge. So I Ravage says bolster Blitz or Ruinga ahead of attack you when Ravager is present. And the other ability is this one, Scourge. Let's take it. Deal heavy damage with attack to target about to recover Stagger. Yep. Alright. So that's that. Okay, let's uh, now focus on equipment. What do you have? Shield Talisman and Tungsten Bangle. Makes sense. Shaman's Mark and Tungsten Bangle. Brawler's Wristman and Black Belt. Yeah, makes sense. And then finally the Paradigm. So I'm gonna go with Relentless Assault, obviously. That's our main damage dealer. Average Ravager Commando, put that in the front. And then the next one that we probably want is, um... I guess Bully would help, yeah. Bully helps a lot. But we can also try... Because he's only Synergist, though. And if I want double medics, I'm going to want this. Medic, medic, sentinel. And or medic, medic, commando. I for sure want to do the try. Try disaster. Actually, oh, I can't do that. No. Oh, that sucks. I forgot about that. You can't do it anymore. Because you're going to be using Fang a lot now. So. Let's see. Delta attack. What about solidarity? That actually helped. That was, um. Was that medic? Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Sentinel? Synergist? Wait, what was Solidarity actually? I forgot. Oh my god. Because I had that. Commando, Ravager, Sentinel. Commando, Strategic Warfare. Medic? That's what it was. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. And then Medic, Medic, Sentinel. And then finally, Bully. Which is essentially a better version of a Tide Turner. Okay. I just feel like I need Commando Commando Ravager though. Because if I use Delta Attack... Uh, that's tough. It's tough to know what to actually switch out. You know what? Am I really going to use Delta Attack? Because I'm going to use Solidarity most likely. You know what, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do aggression. Wait, did I say Cerberus? I meant aggression. Whatever. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and fight some enemies here. Here we go. Things will be a lot easier now that we have developed our CP a little bit and we have good paradigms now. The first battle was a little bit of a disaster, actually. But as you can see, even these guards are actually pretty, uh, ridiculous sometimes. They are doing, um, some pretty high damage, and they're also having a lot of HP. Even when it has a stagger, I mean, do you see this? Like, do you see this? It's crazy. Because see, we only killed one so far. Only one. Okay, Fang is a low HP, but whatever, really. Okay, switch back. Go ahead and launch that guy and then kill with my last one. There we go. This should be fine. He's not going to kill me. Alright. How much CP do you get here? Like 300, I'm assuming, maybe? Yeah, actually, that's good. 384 per bat. Incentive chip. Nice. Okay, a new area and... What? Where am I at? Okay, so I make something, you know, come down. And it takes us... Oh my god, this is so weird. 
and so many little areas to go through, you know? Yeah, so this takes me to a new area now. Climbing up to the very top. Let's go. Okay, so in here if we make a right, it leads to a chest. Let's go ahead and claim it for ourselves, obviously. And this contains digital circuits. Which is basically money, because I'm by this point I'm gonna be selling all components that are not the superconductors. Bad's waiting for us. Or sturdy bones, you know? Yes, I know that lighting, I know that. I think everybody knows that. It's a big trap. So we have to be, you know, with caution. that way we'll find another route way ahead of you see that let's go don't go get blown away now okay so in this area if we go back and fight these guys there's another chest back here so let's go ahead and fight them these are some new watch drone type species hopefully they're not too difficult the Arc Drone. Oh, the damage is actually fairly low, from what I've been able to see here. Okay, and they're also very easy to stagger, as you can see. Wow. It's actually very, very easy. Okay, can you please kill that one? Seriously, what the heck? That took way too long. Staggered. And there we go. Look at that, that's a low stagger threshold there. The Octro. What a weird name. Oh, Dectro! Just oh my... Sorry, I could not see... Dude, the C has like a super small... You gotta be kidding me. When I first read it when the battle began, I was like, The Octro? That doesn't make sense, like in my head. I still read it as The Octro, but I was like, what? That, wait, that's weird. I couldn't see that. Oh my god. Like, the little hole on the right of the C almost looks non-existent. It looks like an O almost, not a C. I knew there was something weird about that. It's like Deoc Drone. The hell? There's some more deck drones here. Yeah, deck drone. My god, people. Oh, with another dude right there. Let's kill a deck drones first though. Yeah, like do you see that scene? It looks almost non-existent, like like the little hole in the sea. That makes it a C, you know? And it looks like almost like an oh oh shit. Okay. Kill one fast, kill one fast, hurry up. Yeah, that one's dead. Let's target that next deck drone and fast. Before we freaking die. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go all aggressive. Even though I'm taking damage, if I kill him fast enough, I'm not gonna take that much damage. Even this guy took some pretty decent damage. Look at this shit. Somebody staggering? What an easy enemy. Okay. Simple enough. I remember, that's without Hope's, um, ability, like, already, though. What's it called? The, um... Oh, I forgot. I freaking forgot. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm gonna have to end it right here, believe it or not. Yes, because... There's a save point. Usually save points are cool, you know? Makes sense. And the next one isn't until quite... Far away. I'm just gonna come here. Go to the shop and sell... Oh, what the heck, actually, you know what? What you got? Painkiller removes pain. Removes fog. Should I buy these? Maybe not, actually. Plotus' workshop. Here, to buy more weapons here. Alright, cool. Which I don't need. B&W Outfitters. Titanium Bangle. Maximum HP by 200. Brawler's Wristband. Strength by 50. Shaman's Marks. But the thing is, they cost 3,000 each, though. That's a lot. And then the glass orb. Okay. Uh, magical moments. What's in here? Guardian amulet. Okay. Creature comforts. There's new stuff, which are actually not useful. The best thing to buy is the sturdy bones. The mother load. Yeah, this is where you actually buy the, um transformational catalysts, which are able to make a weapon go from like, let's say my Hawkeye to the next level. Once you once you start, you're then able to use this. So, well, 
I mean, that's pretty much like. Actually, can I even upgrade my Hawkeye? I don't think I can, because I need the. I think it's Perovskite that I need. But that's expensive. The Norris Garage. Hmm. Nothing good still. The superconductors are still not here, actually, which is kind of weird. I thought they would be. Okay. And that's it for that. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff now. Let's see, I'm gonna keep all this. As far as weapons go, there are Gundam Dwellers, which I'm actually not gonna want. I can already tell you that. I'm gonna keep either Pro Scions or the Speak of Defenders. I'm not sure yet. These are a lot, though. Wow. Healer Staff, I'm not gonna use that, hell no. Okay. Accessories, Iron Bangle, let's sell that. As far as these elemental things, uh, I don't really need them anyway. I'm just telling you that right now. I'm not going to use them, really. Spark Ring, Fulman Ring, Aqua Ring, Riptide Ring, Star Pendant, Poison Resistance, Guardian Amulet, nope. The Shield Talisman is much better. Okay. Components. Torn Leather, Smooth Hide, Superconductor, I'll keep that. Millerite, I'll keep that Rotor Crows, that Uraninite, Credit Chip. Incentive chip, that's worth 5,000. Digital circuit. And then silicone oil. Okay. Well then. <laughs> well then, that's that, you know? That is that. Um, as far as other things go, I mean, I don't know if I can actually start developing. Let's see. Because I don't have much CP anyway. But what I should probably do because it's the end of the video. Is try to do one more... Development. Let's go to Ravager. Were you at Ravager? I forgot. Actually, I'll just keep that for next time. Whatever, who cares? So we're all done here. Yes, we are. Alright. Progressing through the Palamecia.